All right, let's get right into it here in tonight's analysis. We're going to be looking at uh, Spider, uh, Qs, and Semiconductor. We're going to be focusing on the daily charts today because I do want to see, uh, we're going to try to analyze this together, see if we can uh, figure out uh, if the market is getting ready to make new highs here. As you can see, the market did see uh, seemingly, um, you know, about 8% correction or so, uh, you know, uh, just across the board, Spider, NASDAQ, and Semiconductor. So we've been in this uh, downturn since the start of earlier this month. So pretty much the entire this month, we've been coming down. And it all started with that uh, bearish island down gap, which we talked about. That bearish island down gap is very important because Boss Bears Command Center was established once that uh, island down gap was never filled. As you can see, that micro term moving average was right there. Micro term is no longer supporting the buyers. Uh, once that island down gap came about, that micro term was reprogrammed to support the sellers. As you can see, again, this is a daily chart. Each candles represent one day worth of data uh, you see that little pop there there's a micro term here 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 and as you can see we continue to plunge down what happened was though with the recent upturn to the upside for the first time since the uh the micro term was reprogrammed to support the sellers right after the establishment of the a boss bears command center the island down get right here the purple box right here ever since then uh we were not able to buyers were not able to reclaim that micro term this is the first day as you can see here we are slightly above not only the micro term but also the short term is the uh, green moving average micro term is aqua color there so this is the first time it is poking its head up and we all know that just one day it's getting slightly above the moving averages are not going to confirm that the moving averages have been reprogrammed uh, to support the buyers. But nonetheless, as you can see, this is the first time again, uh, bulls were not able to, uh, you know, close the day above this micro term, let alone the short term moving average once it was lost. So this is a big deal going into tomorrow only if we can see that um you can see a follow through to the upside and that micro term and the short term moving average start to cross back up and only then uh bulls have successfully reprogrammed the micro term and the short term moving averages on the this daily chart here to support the buyers uh, there's that we what we uh, what the market has found is that rising uptrend support going all the way back to May lows, late April lows, and June lows. Right, that's a level where we found support just several days ago, and that's Perfect. again that's a level coinciding with my midterm moving average. Right, uh, so that midterm moving average is the uh, dotted blue line there. So as you can see. We have uh, the micro term and the short term moving averages. Uh, they were lost. However, the midterm moving average has not been lost. It's still supporting the buyers ever since it was reclaimed and reprogrammed in late to mid March. So this is the first time we got to that midterm moving average coinciding with the rising uptrend support. Perfect. And obviously that was an ideal level, not to mention we did hit oversold zone on that oscillator. And this is a likely level that we may find some support. So now the bulls are, uh, we have, bull, what the bulls got going right now is that they reclaim, they look, it looks like we need a one more day bullish, bullish turn though. It looks like they reclaimed the micro term and short term. It needs to be confirmed by, we need another bullish day. It looks like the the uh, we bounced in an idea level with the rising uptrend support here here uh, coincident with the midterm moving average and also the gap from this morning is gonna be important because as long as that, that up gap from this morning stays open, I want to continue to sort of uh, 
give benefit of the doubt to the buyers in the micro term. So Q's, uh, Q's, you can see uh, this bullish or this uptrend support going all the way back to 2023 January. You can see March, January there, March here, and just several days ago. Again, that's the level. Again, that midterm moving average is really working over time to support the buyers here again that midterm moving average was never once breached to the downside ever since it was reprogrammed in late january early february right here that midterm the dotted blue moving average once that midterm moving average was reprogrammed to support the buyers even we saw that decline during march as you can see uh when we came down here there was a midterm right there and then market just thrived for many many months entire summer starting early march all the way through august peak there and then we definitely see another uh kind of short to midterm correction there and yet again that midterm was right there right coinciding with the rising uptrend so we are holding above it i think it's because we have the midterm there and the rising up trend support that's like a double support also that oscillator was hitting over so level and as you can see so every time when we do see that oscillator hitting that over so market did see that reversal happen in january happen in march and it is happening now here in late august so again we also do see that up gap from this morning however uh unlike spider we've got up gap here we got up gap here and this up gap was never where we still slightly open you can see right there so that's why you have my uh, gray box right there so again midterm moving average long-term uptrend support while that uh while we have the uh, oscillator uh thriving it seems um so definitely uh we're seeing a lot of bullishness here i think as far as like you know just just the way everything looks everything looks bullish uh as far as uh any you know if we're looking at this is a conventional means however uh, keep in mind this is a level where market can produce shenanigans what what i won't be surprised i'm just gonna let you guys know right now i would not be surprised to see some gap down in the morning or some sort of gap up and fade and plunge just keep that in mind i mean yes everything's starting to kind of put if you put it all together everything's starting to look like this market is pre preparing for another lag higher and that might be the case and that's what that's the beauty about uh, trading right you never know you never know if, if we're going to see a very smooth market feels generous. We're going to see a very smooth bullish move to the upside or is going to where they going to be as some crazy shenanigans. And that's part of the game. That's that's what you signed up for. So I wouldn't be all, you know what I'm saying? Like being out of shape just because we see a crazy down get or something. You, 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 you're, you're, when you're trading this market, you should learn to face shenanigans, go through shenanigans instead of it just because that's what we have to understand a bigger picture that way you're not gonna act upon fear or panic because how many times you've witnessed where you sold in panicky way and then some shenanigan happened and a couple days later or maybe a week later market just reversed back up and you missed your entry and then market just went up without you right how many times have you guys gone through this right so this is why you want to understand overall flow of things not so much what may happen tomorrow semiconductor looks like we've reclaimed and holding above the micro term and the short term moving average you can see that or i mean the mic yes that micro term right here acting as resistance three times it looks like today it acted as support along with the short term moving average obviously that midterm moving average is going to star uh it, you know this entire week that midterm moving average does not fail to support the buyers ever Perfect. since it was reprogrammed right here after that oversold signal came about and not to mention not to mention we do have a rising pivot right if i draw that from all the here that fits perfectly coinciding with the midterm moving average prior resistance new support and that's the support 
just about four trading sessions ago. So, and, and, and you can see there are a couple of down gaps right here that bulls are probably eyeing us. So going into tomorrow, as, I got through, as I've gone through spider cues and semiconductor, I think uh, everything looks bullish. But when everything looks bullish in our human eyes, that's when shenanigan could occur so so my analysis is that i propose that there that i feel that the sentiment is shifting and especially after today's when i'm sure after today's moves a lot of people a uh, short-term micro-term trajectory you know uh, direction might have changed right and this is where you could potentially see some crazy uh, down gaps or shenanigans so keep that in mind but if we do see a follow-through if we do see a follow-through in this vicinity at least minimum one more day i think i think there's a good chance that uh, you know there's a good chance that because you know we're still dealing with that micro term and short term moving averages getting reclaimed here and uh, what spider really need is to reprogram reprogram this by getting up one more time and and without that if this thing let's say tomorrow morning we we get right back down and this thing looks something like that tomorrow morning what's just gonna be is that micro term short term is gonna start falling down and this is gonna become that head fake that snack